I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers. You already know what this is. It's the Honda CRV. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the exterior styling of the Honda CRV, starting with the grille right here. Lower end models are going to get more of a black sporty mesh, but this sport touring is top of the line. We're going to get these black accents here on the sport models. Behind that grille, you are going to find active grille shutters. Those are going to close when the engine doesn't need cooling. That's going to increase your aerodynamic efficiency and therefore increase your fuel economy. This is a hybrid. We're going to talk about that in just a sec. On the Sport Touring, we have acoustic front glass. It's gonna make it nice and quiet in there. At the side of the CRV, Honda's done a lot up here. They've moved the pillars forward 4.7 inches. They've also moved them out 2.8 inches and they took the wing mirror and they moved it down. That's gonna give you better outward visibility compared to previous generation models. This Sport Touring here, you're gonna find it's extra quiet on the inside. That's because there are fuzzy fenders. If you feel the inside above the wheel, it's fuzzy and that is supposed to reduce road noise and make it quiet in there that's working with that acoustic front glass on this sport touring gonna give you a nice and quiet ride i think we will find when we go for a test drive 19 inch black wheels here overall real nice side profile at the rear of the crv sport touring first of all you have the classic vertical led taillights which have become a staple of the crv the sport touring is going to get a hands-free power lift gate standard if we open it up we're going to find 36.3 cubic feet of space behind the second row put those down you're going to have around 76.5 cubic feet of space it is a bit of a far reach to put down these seats. You gotta really sit in the car and reach over and there's not a spring assist to throw them down, but eventually it's easy enough. You can get a thousand pounds of towing capacity, maybe tow a small travel trailer or something like that. This is a real nice amount of cargo room. This vehicle also uses the fourth generation of Honda's dual motor hybrid system. You can find the same system in the new Accord. This two liter four cylinder engine puts out around 145 horsepower and you made it to a 181 horsepower electric motor. You can expect around 36 in the, on the highway, around 44 on the city. Remember, hybrid usually is more efficient in the city than it is on the highway. This vehicle is a real pleasure to drive as we will see when we get on the road. But something that's interesting is how this hybrid works. It it operates both in parallel and in series. Now, what does that mean? You may be familiar with parallel hybrids like the Toyota Prius, where both an electric motor and a gasoline motor drive the wheels and move the vehicle. This vehicle normally operates as a series hybrid, meaning that instead of driving the wheels, the gas motor actually works just as a generator that makes electricity that powers the electric motor, which acts as the primary drive motor. Um, and this is more efficient around town and such, but when you are on a long drive, you're on the highway, the vehicle is going to detect, hey, it may be more efficient to operate in parallel and it will seamlessly, without you knowing, engage the two liter gas motor and that will become the primary drive unit and it will act as a parallel hybrid. Real cool technology from Honda that's going to give you that great fuel economy and the Sport Touring is standard all wheel drive. This vehicle has Honda Sensing, which is Honda's standard suite of safety features and it is quite impressive. It's on the same level as like Toyota Safety Sense, which is also industry leading. You have adaptive cruise control, you have lane keep assist on this vehicle. Got to keep your hands on the wheel, but it'll generally kind of keep you in the, centered in the lane and keep the speed just right. It also has a low speed auto emergency braking. And in addition, you have blind spot monitoring. And of course, you have your rear cross traffic alert on top of many other features that Honda Sensing offers. Now in the rear of the CRV Sport Touring, we have vents as it should. This vehicle goes anywhere from the high 30s to low 40s. And we have two USB-C ports. I don't have the exact sticker for this vehicle, but I will put a price in the uh, video somewhere here. We do have a pull out in the center here. No nubs, but we do have two cup holders and these seats are real comfy. Honda has redesigned the seats in their vehicle to reduce fatigue for those sitting in them. And they do that by reducing the number of posture movements you need to make by giving you more support in your lower back. And you can feel it. You do less shifting around while driving and that reduces your fatigue. Um, and headroom of course is plenty back here. Leg room is plenty. Your rear passengers are going to be very happy. Not much of a hump. So you could probably fit three full-size adults back here. Here we are on the road in the CRV. I am joined by my co-host, Colin Hawkins. Colin, I'm loving the CRV. I am too, it rides very nice. But Jake, I have one question about this vehicle. I'm looking at the shifter and I see all your standards, park, reverse, nitro, drive. But what does nitro? these stand for? Nitro, Jake. Nitro mode. <laughs> I'll have to try this new nitro <laughs> mode. But let's put it into B. I'm glad you brought that up. This is a hybrid, right? B is going to allow us to essentially do, ready, I'm gonna take my foot off the accelerator. See, feel how we're slowing down? Yeah. I'm not putting my foot on the brake. That is the basically a form of one pedal driving. It's the vehicle recuperating energy. That's what the B mode is. It's a more aggressive region. Now, if you just put it in regular drive, which I'll stop here and throw it into regular drive, um, 
it, it's just gonna let you coast, but also when you brake, you know, the vehicle will be smart about how it distributes that braking force between your traditional friction brakes and your regenerative brakes. So that's a real nice feature. You know, the, the big one of the big benefits of hybrids is you can recoup that lost coasting energy. Um, and you know, this this is getting real good fuel economy. I mean, 40, you know, mid 40s for a SUV in the city is real good. Um, but why don't we pop into sport mode and see how it does on a little acceleration. So put in sport mode, I'm just gonna use our little central switch right here and we are sport mode engaged. And I will say sport mode tenses this vehicle up a lot. And there we go. It feels, I mean, it feels like a bit of a heavier Accord. We, could, we were just in the Accord and these two share the same engine. And you know what? It, um, I really like the sport mode. You switch into sport mode in either of those vehicles and it becomes a lot more tense. Yeah, it, it just, the acceleration curve becomes a lot more instant now if we switch it let's let's go to the opposite end let's switch all the way to econ you're gonna hear that the air the, you might have just felt it the ac goes down a little bit in econ mode and uh, uh it's gonna smooth out your acceleration the vehicle smoothing out your acceleration um because it's gonna make you drive more efficiently right in, in eco mode it's saying even if you're not an efficient driver i'm gonna make you an efficient driver but calm we're going over some bumps and whatnot here on our patented gas guzzler twisties um i can tell you the steering feels real good in this vehicle especially compared to another you know kind of mid-sized crossover but tell me where are you feeling as a passenger I have to say we're taking these bumps very well of course we did ride through here in an older Cherokee earlier and it was definitely throwing us around just a little bit but the CRV is able to easily mow through these bumps and mind you these are some pretty severe bumps yeah yeah they definitely are severe and you know there is that trade-off between Honda likes to be the company that's sporty and is fun to drive um, and there is a trade-off between sportiness and handling and suspension comfort um, but they definitely honed in a nice balance here very much the same deal with the Accord you heard us sing this that you might be watching thinking, did I click on the Accord video again um, very similar vehicles though and it was a pleasure to drive them both today Colin any concluding thoughts here in the CRV I have to say Honda's done it again they've made a very practical vehicle that is still very fun to drive yeah that storage space I was amazed how humongous that that rear storage space was yeah. um, so yeah guys thanks so much for watching keep an eye out for a longer CRV video we didn't have a long time with the vehicle today but so we might miss some things let us know if we missed anything in the comments that you would like to see in a longer CRV review we will make sure to hit them when we have more time with this vehicle later this year guys thanks so much for watching gas guzzlers we will see you in next week's video